Hi guys, my name is Ross and welcome back to Ribeye Boats HQ and this is another episode of Follow the Build but on this episode we're doing a quick fire round up of all the projects we've got going on in the workshop. Come with me. Right, so we're at the back of the workshop where we fit out all of the boats and we're going to start with the smallest rigs and then move upwards. So beside me here, one of our most popular boats, legendary status in the market, A600, full factory custom, being built to the owner's exact specification. We've got carbon black hyper on here. This boat's going to have a Yamaha 130, one of the new Yamaha outboards. Great performance, a power to weight ratio, um, really good power delivery if you want to do wakeboarding and things like that. So you've got the 50mm stainless steel A-frame at the back here, really chunky, it looks gorgeous. We've got nice blue and black upholstery on there and you'll see we've got synthetic teak at the back here and also there's a big piece of teak going down there with the weights on at the moment. And this is premium flexi teak, it's not the foam teak you get, so really grippy, hardy stuff and it will last the duration of the lifetime of this boat so it's as good as it gets and this is going to be a gorgeous six meter and as I say a very very popular boat we're going to keep going and do this in one take here we've got um, one of our new 6.2 meter platforms and we've got Luke pulling a long shift here um, Luke I'm going to ask you a couple of questions mate yeah no worries do you want to um, give us a run what are you working with the console yeah absolutely so this is a folding console uh, which is going on a new Solus um, boat here which is behind me uh, this is a 6.2 solar boat, so this is going to be a sort of crew tender and kind of multi-use um, application. But basically, this is the sort of first phase of the wiring going in here. Yeah. As you can see, it's sort of we leave everything kind of loopy. There's a lot of excess on everything, so it's nice and easy to sort of fault find or or do anything should you need to. Awesome. There'll be plenty of labels and things to go in there as well, so you'll be able to follow it sort of start to finish. Thanks mate. And it, you'll see it's all clearly labelled as Luke said and all of that sort of data is backed up on our wiring diagrams which we store on the, uh, the tender archives going forward. So if future crew or engineers change and they want to get in touch, we can identify diagnose very, very quickly and you can see Luke's done a really neat job on that and that goes right the way through the tender. As this is one of our new platforms as well, I think this is 004 or 5. Luke, this is a Solus tender, you said, mate. So yeah, absolutely. do you want to talk us through the... It's an integrated Solus system on this one, isn't it? Yeah, so it'll have a... There'll be a big box seat, basically, um, that, will, that will sit here, and this will be the sort of stern aft seat platform. Um, and basically, the backrest will, will function as the, the Solus box as well. So inside here, you'll have a big self-writing bag. Uh, there'll be a big bottle underneath and then you've got the, the the safety pull handle on the on the transom so if the boat was ever to go upside down um, you would just pull the handle and this will release two flaps here that will blow the bag up and yeah. the boat will self right so awesome pretty cool stuff thanks Luke that's brilliant mate and you know you'll see from some of our previous tenders we do have like a frame option as well but if you're looking to kind of get rid of the look of the big stainless frame with the uh, with the the gas bottle then that is new tech there and uh, the guys have done a really good job engineering that. We'll see you soon, Luke. Thank you. Um, we're going back to leisure boats now. This is one of our most popular boats again through this summer season, the Ribeye A683. This year, been available with the, um, the 225, uh, 4.2 litre from Yamaha, really popular, pretty much as high spec as you can get in the market, this is. If you're looking to optimise what your six and a half to seven metre rib's all about and you want the best out there, this is really what we think people are looking for. You know, gorgeous looking console. This is the Ergo console. You come to all the new Yamaha rigging. Again, clearly labeled fuse boxes in there. You know, our boat builders really are the best in the industry. And it just, you can see the wiring's like art really. So, you know, credit to those guys. Um, the all black again, color scheme is really, really popular. Let's go right down to the end of the workshop where we've got another 683, currently being built by Ellis. Um, this is, as you can see, that this is the new Yamaha V6 uh, 225, available this year. So uh, tons of power for driving, you know, if you want to drive the boat quick with this hull, you can, but also run a high payload on this boat and you want to do some, you know, make benefit of doing some mono skiing. Again, the boat's always going to have enough pull. Uh, great boarding on this boat as well. As you can see, Ellis has turned on some of the lower level LED floor lighting, which looks really good with the stealth black gel coat, synthetic teak. Um, there will be a cubby box put on there to hide all that rigging again, which Ellis has been working on, um, and premium Garmin installation up there as well. So a really, really nice looking boat. This is probably how I'd spec a 683 if I was building one myself. I'd definitely have the 225. 
And is this having these suspension bucket seats, mate? Uh, this is having jockeys. This jockey one. seats. Yeah. So you can either go for the bucket seats with suspension, or if you go for the jockey seats, yes, you lose the suspension unit, but what you then get is things like more storage. So um, it's all about building the right boat for how you want to use it, uh, so we can dial it in. Um, moving to the boat on the starboard side, we have, it's nearly, nearly finished this one. So this is, this is the big brother to the 683, the 811. 811, a lot of people call it. Sounds a bit like 911, and, and, and I think that works because this boat is so quick. You know, you can run this one with up to a 300 on the back, so it's absolutely gas, and it's such a well-balanced hull when you're underway. But what the guys have done so well with the hull architecture design here is when you're stable, that leaves underwater, and then you've got the water line just at the back of the tube there, so you've got proper stability. And that works really well when you're either boarding on these, non these teak surfaces here, there are hidden teak steps underneath those bits of upholstery. But also, if you watch some of our other content, you'll see that backrest can fold down forward there. And the bow u berth if you come take a look, that all turns into large sunbathing areas. So the stability at rest makes this a really safe sort of floating island. Perfect for those longer days when you're on the water. You'll see we've got a table receiver being fitted down here at the moment. We often fit them in the bow and the stern now. So you could have like one sunbed fitted out in the, in, in the bow. You could have the table at the back or vice versa. So these really are performance boats, but they were also day boats that you can spend hours upon with your family. A bit of upholstery still needs to go on that bucket seat to finish it off. But you can see if you look underneath them, you've got full suspension underneath there. And again, like on any ribeye console, the, the, the attention to detail and the quality of the fit out, is just, there's nothing better. Um, Italian steering wheel on there, as you can see. We move to the next boat, which again is slightly larger, as you can see. Welcome to the Prime Series. Um, all of the composites for these boats, we actually infuse with a foam core laminate across the road in our Unit 3 facility. Always welcome people to come down and have a look at and have a proper factory tour. We'll show them around here, but also really good to see how we do all the composites for these boats because it's super, super high tech and strong. Um, got the transom cap on here. This is going to have a single out, outboard. And um, this is actually going to be a first of its kind because it's having um, the first Yamaha 300 SVW uh, steering system. So a full uh, integrated power steering unit. Really high tech boat. You'll see we've got the receivers here again for a Bimini extension, which will attach to the T-top. Um, it's going to have shore power, some nice little details. We went through powder coated options on the, on the mast, but on the handles, we've deliberately gone polished with the owner and family on this boat. So it's all about getting those details dialed in and just how you, want it, how you want it to look, but also how you want it to kind of last as well. So this is going to be a neat boat. And black, we've, um, we're doing a few more of these with the sort of miniature grey carbon effect weaved hyperline. It looks seriously, seriously good. So you'll probably see this boat on the water in due course. So keep, keep an eye on this boat. We'll, we'll do another specific video on this in due course because it's probably one of the most high spec single outboard primes we've ever built. And finally, we've got quite a raw boat here. This boat has entered the workshop today, I think. It's been built by James, who's up there. Um, Prime 941, this is going to be the Southampton Boat Show display boat. So that's James O's building this boat. Um, it's gonna, well, it's like every demo boat we built, they get better and better. And this is gonna be the most high spec 941 we have ever built. There's gonna be some new updates on it uh, and some new sort of specifications that we're gonna be showing off at the Southampton Boat Show, which is super exciting. So this has just come out of our composite facility. It's been kind of um, wrapped up effectively because the guys have already done a lot of polishing on it. So we wanna build these boats clean and build them right. Um, so very much James is at like a first fix of sort of fit out now. We'll be fitting hinges, laying synthetic teeth. And then it'll move on to things like console wiring and things like that. So we will be in touch with more updates on this epic Prime 941 build. This boat will be on the water as well if you want to, uh, if you want to come have a sea trial at the Southampton Boat Show. So, um, you know, please do come to the boat show. We'll come down to Dartmouth before if you want to kind of check out how this build's getting on. But I think we've got that in pretty much one take. That is a quick fire, you know, uh, round the factory um, walkthrough of all of our boats. They're all quite early stage, so we'll be back in touch when they're looking a bit more finished. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.